Okay, so we're on the roof of the pod. We're on the water, we're floating. We are free floating, it feels beautiful. There's a great breeze. Um, it is going to be bright here with full sun, it's going to be bright, but it is going to be a nice place to actually hang out. So we haven't really done a lot of planning to make this into a, a hangout area. We're th really thinking about this logistically as a landing spot for uh, a helicopter or a passenger drone, mm -hmm. but we could put up um, tent, uh, like a little hammock yeah, suspension absolutely. kind of... Uh, absolutely, I mean, it, the sunsets, the views and things from here, it's about 70, 70 square usable space. Yeah. Okay. It's definitely doable. Um, Structure-wise, it, it's sound, mm -hmm. and to then create these areas into certain pods, <laughs> mini pods of sort, yeah. to do whatever you want to sunbathe. Or you can even have a patio up here. You can still you can even have a barbecue up here, whatever. You, you could, yeah. Do. It's, it's, it's really actually a <laughs> literally a blank canvas. Yeah. She's not that bright at the moment, which is quite nice because the sun was out for the last four days, which is bright. <laughs> it's pretty cool and but very bright, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. And that sun will challenge us in a way. And, mm -hmm. and that's why we're doing some very unique coating on this roof. Yes, okay, so we want to know all about the coatings. Yeah, so this is in the past you would have used, for instance, foam, spray foam or anything to insulate a pipe or noise or whatever the case may be. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, coatings are actually something that's really, um, I think it's, uh, it's not really found yet it's not common to use if you, if you mention certain things that they don't worry you're just going to coat it hmm. what do you mean and it's but there's such an amount of technology in it and, and this specifically has also got hmm. quite a bit in it um it's it's basically called a um hollow organic composite or compound um depending on the on your material mm -hmm. and um so this is all waterborne nano technology it's all organic um Specifically here on this one, we want to keep the sun out. I mean, we're in Panama and um, around the world, in the deserts, Arab the Arabic states, you're going to have some sun. And uh, this is a massive area, obviously getting getting quite a bit of exposure mm -hmm. at a lot of hours. So we want to keep this, every part that we that is exposed to the sun, we want to keep it as cool as possible. And um, this specific coating, it's a bit of a mix between a, a fiery tartan and a, and a, and a, 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 a thermal coat. Mm -hmm. So it has got reflective properties, but also it, in a way, that it, it keeps it from, say, for instance, you've got a, you're holding onto a rod that's in the fire, but you've got a piece of rubber on the handle or uh -huh. wood. It doesn't transfer into the wood. So you can technically right. do that with coatings. And that's exactly what we've done. Yeah, I think we might actually just illustrate it, illustrate it a bit. We might have... Um, Okay, we, it's something a bit lighter. We can maybe try and a little breeze here, but we might just be lucky and we might be able to fire this. I don't. I think. I did some tests earlier. I think you have the lighter. Oh, there you. Go. There you go. So this is a. a bit of propane. Yep, pretty much. Uh, so this burns up to, I think about just under two thousand degrees Celsius. Okay, so hotter than the sun. Well, <laughs> well, not, not the sun, <laughs> not the yeah. surface of the sun, but, but yeah, hotter I mean, than uh, we get here. Something, uh, a surface can easily get up to 80 degrees in, in the deserts, and okay. um, even yeah, as exposed to the sun, the sun is brutal. And mm -hmm. um, so, even if at general time, 50 degrees, very much on the on the surface, very possible. Mm -hmm. So even if we don't turn this up to absolute, it's hottest. We'll, we'll easily get to 500 degrees, which is 100x, like a tenfold of what we want to. Um, see, and um, what it, what will this roof do under those circum these circumstances? Um, getting getting the sun's full attention. Okay. And this will probably give it a good illustration. I'm going to try and light this up. So this will illustrate it quite unique. Let's crank it up a notch. Okay, so it's, you can see it being discolored. Bearing in mind this is between five and 800 degrees Celsius. So, um, hmm. that gives you a good idea of 
of the heat that, that we're putting onto this coaching roof. And that's the same that's on the roof here. Uh -huh. Very similar properties. You can see. And, uh, and it didn't, and that's cardboard. Just a piece of cardboard. Huh. Wow. So, is... as far as um, our heat goes, so no, no additional insulation or rolls of insulation or foam or anything needed inside the roof. It's all used now optimally. And mm -hmm. that's when we decided to raise the roof. Let's raise it up to three meters high inside this unit instead of two seven. Because we don't need space for any of this. We can now use it optimally for our piping and all our wiring and our diagrams for that. And um, hmm. we can, we've got more roof to, to play with. And that's because we wouldn't have the problem with the insulation to have that cavity where, roof, where yeah. the heat sort of gets trapped. We wouldn't have that now. So insulation, the foam insulation that we usually use is actually quite heavy. Yeah. And, and is, it's not the most, you know, the this cleanest. Is this 20, is 20 kilos. 20 kilos. So you say, say 30 kilos, it's a bit heavier with... It's got a lot of uh, the whitening we put in titanium, for instance. Uh, for the whole roof, in. though? Yeah, for the whole Or roof. the whole pod? For the whole, for the whole roof, this the section whole roof. now. Okay. So for the insulation, if it was, to, was the foam, it would have weighed a couple of hundred kilos in, in total in, on, mm. on that thickness. Mm -hmm. um, your rolls of, of insulation would have weighed, for, well, anything would have made, weighed more than 30 kilos, that's for sure. And took right. a lot of time, and none of it is really uh, environmentally friendly either. Right. So this is all organic. Uh, titanium get it to whiteness so if there's anything that falls on you that all that might rust it won't rust anymore because of the titanium and all but that mm -hmm. the sealant that goes on there is your uh, more like a plant based you can almost refer to that in the sense of a, uh, a tree gum the resin the resin that's on top is the epoxy part but it's not a epoxy as as we know it in, in, in general terms mm -hmm. but more of a, a grinded tree resin Hmm. that now gives you that properties of the hard coating so it's all very very uh, um, and it's fun stuff I'm, I'm glad that we can that we can uh, we can play with these things and I showcase a lot of it mm -hmm. um, to the world and that's okay very unique it's part of uh, part of the tech in, in some way which is pretty cool yeah it's tech but it's not tech but it is yeah it's not uh, it's high nano tech it's yeah. nano high tech it's nano tech in a yeah. in a very organic way which is pretty cool mm -hmm. so this this is the very similar to what you would say um, uh, when you have a fire, a big bonfire, mm -hmm. and it all burns out following morning, there's a lot of ashes, but then you go and you dig underneath the ashes, mm -hmm. and then you find out, oh, but the coals are still hot. And this is exactly what this does. It mm -hmm. mimics that, it, but it puts the ash between the layers, so it immediately keeps your heat, the coals, away from mm. your your surface uh -huh. or your whatever you want to protect so a light door we uh, used to have a big door for radiation or for a fire door which mm -hmm. weighed a lot so now it can be a piece of cardboard huh. can't burn. so uh what kind of an r value would that have on there on the like if you have foam insulation that has a certain r value to keep the the, know, ray, the rays out for the sun rays yeah. Um, on this one, 45%.